Good morning, everyone. So here we are. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. I literally just pressed live, so I, nobody's here yet. Mm. But I went with core water today because water is at the core of our health and energy, existence, all the other stuff. Hey, Christine, good to see you here. Thanks so much. You're the first person on today. I literally just pressed uh, live, but you know how important water is. So, mm make sure I had a great workout this morning already. Oh, it was great. And I'm pretty confident, Christine, you're going to be on your way to work out or doing something amazing today. So send you the best. Hope you have a fantastic day today. And uh, this is, I should bring you on camera. You're like, ah, anyway, thanks so much for showing up. We've got a great class today. Um, it's going to be a really intense class. It's going to be, uh, what's the, What's the word? Um, it's going to be faster than normal. It's going to be really intense. Um, it's going to be a workout that's going to take us through a cardio and strengthening. Good morning, Betsy. Great to see you here. Thanks so much for showing up. Um, not that that's unusual. You always show up. So um, that's awesome. Um, so what we got today is we got really a cardio strengthening lower body workout. Then we're going to go to um, a foot strengthening and calf workout. And then we're going to end up uh, doing just short band workout, but we're going to do something different today that I haven't done before with you. Um, and we're going to be putting the short bands on the outside of the board, not the front handles. And we're going to keep the poles in the, in the uh, starting position, so we're not going to move them in. So um, that should be a little bit faster. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Rosa. Good morning, Deborah. Great to see you all here. Um, we're going to, it's going to be a faster class today. We're going to finish at 9.45. Um, I've got, uh, we've got a surprise coming up. We're going to be back on TV, Bob and I. So I'm excited about that. We've got to get some rehearsal time going. Um, but that doesn't mean to say we have less of a workout. It means we have a shorter workout, but it's going to be super. When I say intense, don't get, get, don't get uh, worried or anything. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning to everybody out there. Um, so again, we're going to pump through these. We've got a lot of exercises, but it's going to be a little bit of a combination of the speed that we did on Tuesday, but a slightly higher intensity of the exercises. As you can see, I've got my water. Already had a great workout this morning, um, which was challenging. It was cold, but not so cold out. We had a little bit of cloud cover out here in California, so it was really good. Mm. Linda. I think this is your first time here, Linda, because I re don't recognize the last name. Um, what a great last name that is, too. So thanks so much for being here. Remember, Thursdays are a little more intense. It's probably the most intense class of the week normally, um, raising the level. So don't be worried if you're just starting off. We're still going to go simple, but go at your own pace. Do the exercises you can do. And don't worry um, if you can't keep up. And remember, always stop and get that refresher, get that, uh, that um, break if you need to. And again, I probably had 10 sips of water already just while I've been talking. Well, maybe, Dan, you shouldn't be talking so much. That's not the reason. Anyway, Linda, thanks so much for saying hi or saying hey. Um, and Jen, good morning as well. So we're going to start a little bit uh, uh, quicker in about two or three minutes. And the motivation is we're coming to the end. Good morning, Chad. Hey, Chad, haven't seen you there. Haven't seen you for a while. So uh, great to see you back with us again. Hope everything's going well and you're feeling great. Um, so the message for today, it's very simple. It, it goes back. Good morning, Joe. Great to see you here. Um, it goes back a little bit on stuff that we've talked about because we're coming towards the end of the year. And we look back on the year and say, okay, it's not the toughness of the year that we've had to face all the challenges. It's the fact that you've overcome them. And we're now preparing for today and tomorrow and not looking so far forward into the next year, but we're going to be, you know, celebrating. It's, for me, it's, it's always a little, uh, what's the right word? Interesting, fascinating is a better word. How one second can be a difference in our life. At 11.59.59 in 2020, um, and then midnight, exactly on that drop of the ball, the second it goes to her, we have new energy, we have new power, we're thinking things are going to be better ahead. And the only thing that determines the future is your attitude. It's your, your 
own desire to make the difference, be the difference. If we wait for somebody else to make us the difference, we could be waiting a long time. And so my same message goes today. Every second is the opportunity to start again, including getting on the board, giving yourself the challenge um, and overcoming those and feeling great at the end of the day for everything you've achieved that day. And of course, we're going to have days that challenge us more. Yesterday was personally a really challenging, really challenging day for me yesterday with a lot of things that were going on. But you've got to keep your focus that things will get better. Everything always works out. And I know if you put the effort in, your incredible self will make the difference, not one second of time. Um, um, quick question, uh, Denise. The inside of the handles where the long band goes is sharp on the hand. Will it? Oh, I'm trying to see more, but it's not going. Um, uh Again, I'm not sure, I can't read the rest of your message in here, Denise. So why don't you message me private? I'm trying to press this thing. Um, uh, will it work if you take some fine sandpaper and smooth it down? Absolutely it will. The material's really strong. I'm surprised that it's a little sharp on the hand. Um, but then again, I don't usually use the outside handles too much. Um, I do check them and uh, make sure when I go and do quality control. But again, a little bit of sandpaper will be fine in there. The material is not gonna wear the material out. Thanks for that. Angie, great to see you here. Ginny, there you go. I just saw you back in there right above Denise. Uh, Angie, so with that being said, why don't we get on with the workout because it's going to be shorter, sharper, and dynamic. I could tell in there that my eyes are a little bit red. I was outside working out this morning and then jumped in a hot shower and I can feel that cold. <coughs> okay. So what we're going to do today is, like I said, it's a higher level workout, higher intensity. We're going to go through these exercises a little quicker and not spend so much time on one. So we get used to the brain having to react, go to a different place, uh, controlling the body and then change again, but get the repetition in. So again, go at your own pace, nice and safe. Always stop. If you need water, stop and get water. But here we go. Are you ready? Let's just start by slowly lifting those feet up. This is just the warm up to get going. Again, small little motion. <clears throat> small little motion going in here. There you go. Just quick little feet, small. Again, waking up, hopefully. And this is one thing you can do. I've got a, I've got a great program that's gonna be added to this. I talked about it yesterday with an incredible lady um, who's gonna start doing a different type of workout which is the pre-workout for neuropathy um, and for drop foot and to warm you up before we even get to class. So if you're here early and you want to go five minutes, you'll have a five minute warm up before I even come on camera um, and get going. Good. So I want you to start lifting your feet just a little higher now. There you go. So the knees are coming up a little higher. Again, we're just warming up and we're going to go into tapping. And as soon as we go to tapping, we're into the workout. Good, keep it nice and solid. Feel as you lift, just slow it down, just feel that little balance. So I'm just here, just enough to feel that balance. Don't let the board wobble. If uh, you do, it's okay, because the board will catch you as the board goes, but make sure as you're doing this, that you feel that stability and bring that pressure point back in. Okay, and the reason we're lifting the knees up is because we're going into tapping. Again, a slightly higher level. We're gonna go into one, two, three, two, one on the right foot, and then go to the left. Are you ready? So we go one, two, three, two, one, tapping on the board and down. And let's go. One, two, three, two, one, step down, left. One, two, three, two, one, step down, and right. One, two, three, two, one, step down, left. One, two, three, two, one, step down, and one, two, three, two, one, and down. One, two, three, two, one, and down, right. One, two, three, two, one, last one on the left. Here we go. One, two, three, two, one, and down. 
Now we're gonna go into a little exercise that's repetition. Just watch one time. I tap on two, I lunge on two, I lift my heel on two, I lift my knee on two. So that's the four. The tap, the step and push, the step and hamstring curl, and step and knee lift. Are you ready? Step back just slightly, not too far back, and here we go. Tap on two, down, push, back. Now step up, bend the back leg, and down. Now knee lift, and bring it back down, left side. Tap, and down. Now push, and down. Now step, butt kick, and down, and step lift, and let right side, here we go. Tap, down, push, down, hamstring, down, knee lift, left side, tap, down. And what you'll notice is we're learning to have different control, different motions, down, and knee lift, right side, Tap, just the tap can be a little bit different because I have to suddenly control. Now push, back. Curl the back leg, down, and knee lift. So a little combination in here of remembering. Here we go, tap, down, push, push back. Step up tall and down, now knee lift. Work that hip flexor. One more time each side, tap, down. Now push your body weight, push back. Step up tall, curl the back leg, and step up, knee, come down. Here we go again, tap, control on the ground. Now push, push back strong. Now curl the back leg, stand tall, and knee lift comes up, and we're back down. Good, just shake those legs out. What I want you to do is grab a quick drink of water, because we're going into a cardio, one, two, three, four, five, we've got a five exercise run, when I say run, we're running the exercises, not running. Although the last one's a run. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, because we want to get the heart going, we've got the legs integrated, we've got our balance being challenged now. Step on one and one, and here we go, just walk. So this is, again, a little bit more of a higher intensity workout. Just going through here. I love you, ladies and gentlemen, being here pushing it through, knowing that this is not going to be easy, it's going to be simple. And the simple means you have to focus. Easy, you can lose your focus, and that's when mistakes happen. So again, just nice and easy, walking side to side, getting that heart rate going, getting the blood beginning to move a little fast around the body so you can oxygenate, and at the same time, integrating those muscles and push on your feet, push on your feet. So as you step, push on those toes to lift and through the toes to go down. So we begin to work on the tendons and the muscles going all the way through the legs, all the way through the ankles, getting those ligaments again, making sure that they're smooth. We've got 10 seconds left to go and then getting those toes and the neurons firing as well as the tendons all the way through the feet. There you go, good. Now what I want you to do, take your right foot on number two and all we're gonna do, we're gonna walk, but we're gonna walk with the left foot. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. And again, try and keep your body centered. Let the leg do the work. Are you ready? Here we go. So push on one, back, two, back, three, back, two. So we're just taking the foot, keep going on the left side. All we're doing in here is getting the muscle use and the body use to stepping to the side and feeling that weight transference. Just pushing it in there. And again, I want you to think as you're doing this, think about the leg that's staying still on the board. That leg that's staying still, you'll feel as you lift the left leg, you'll feel how solid it feels on that board. And each time you lift, you'll feel how the pressure on the right foot gives you stability to control your body, to support your body. There you go, good. One more time, out and in. Come back in, finish on one. Good, take your left foot, put it onto number two. And here we go, are you ready? Right foot pushed, one and two and three and two and one and 
just check that uh, foot placement. My one was a little bit closer to two, right almost in the middle. There you go, good. Now, some of you will have a stronger right foot. Some of you will have a stronger, or I should say leg. And what we're doing here is we're training as much as we're moving and pushing our body weight sideways. Right now, we're training the left leg to constantly be able to adjust and hold our body weight as we're going. It's a great exercise just for the simple strengthening of one side or the other and making sure that as you're going through this, that that leg muscle and the brain to be able to find your center over the leg. Because look, each time I move, I come back to the left. I come back to the left. I come back to the left. I come back, so we're getting our brain now, getting used to having one side able to react. Last time through. Here we go. Back on two, back on one. Good, and bring the left leg to number one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into a little bit of a jog. So we did a walk for one minute. Now we're gonna go to a jog for one minute. Remember, if you need to stop and get water, do. If you're feeling a little tired, take a break, step off of the board, join back in. Here we go, one minute. So it's just a nice little bit faster than a walk. So we get that cardio up and going again. Doing great. Stay in there. If you're feeling good, don't go faster because we're gonna finish with a run. Right, where we're gonna go, but with this one's just a little bit of a faster cadence. Um, getting those muscles working, getting the fast twitch, getting used to reacting, getting those neurons firing a little quicker because that connection of the brain is telling it, left, right, left, right, left, right. And your body reacts to what your brain is telling it to do. There you go, good, keep it going. You're doing fantastic, we've got 20 seconds to go. Here we go, come on. Staying strong. That heart rate, I can feel my breathing getting a little heavier. Doing great. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. So really quickly, push on your left foot, step back off of the board, grab a quick drink of water, because again, we don't want to deplete we want to make sure that we've got the hydration to go through all these exercises. Are you ready? Up we go, you're gonna step on two and two. Now what I want you to do is find your balance. Everything today has been movement. Now find that balance, we're gonna go into a squat. We're gonna be doing six squats in each position. Now remember on the squat, keep finding your balance. I'm gonna turn sideways. Remember when you do the squat, don't let your knees go forward. Your butt goes back, hold on to those poles, and go back to make sure we're working the quad muscles and not putting the pressure. If you put your knees forward to bend, you're gonna put pressure on your knees. Are you ready? Here we go, find that balance. So we're gonna go into a squat, small little knee bend, come back up, now go up on your toes and hold. One, and heels, go into a small squat, back up, toes, that's two, and back and up, up on the toes, that's three, and down, and back, and middle, and toes, that's four, two to go, come on, one, middle, toes, and down, keep that balance, back, middle, toes, and down, good. So that's the first one, just rock it out. As we go now, we're gonna move our feet to three and three, Rock it out, so we've got a slightly wider squat. If you would like to, if you feel more comfortable, turn your heels, bring them in slightly, so there's a slight um, turn out. Not all the way, but enough. It's very important that as you bend your knees, they stay over your toes as you squat back. Don't let the knees come in, don't let the knees go forward, and don't make the knees actually go too wide either. I'm gonna adjust my feet till I feel comfortable. And here we go, find your balance, and School down, up, now up on your toes, and down, that's one. Squat, middle, up, and down. And you'll notice you won't be able to go up quite as high on your toes. Up, keep that balance, and down. Squat, this is number four. Man, I can feel the pressure. Up, and down, and squat, up, 
up on your toes. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You really feel it on your big toe joint. Down, middle, go up, hold it, 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 and come back down. Good. Bring your feet to one and one. So again, nice and easy. Just rock it out. Now you'll notice on the three and three how much when you went up, you're working on that big toe joint, feeling the pressure on the ball of the foot. That's brilliant for being able to, if you step too wide, to be able to push back and find your center. You want to strengthen your feet up. Okay, here we go. One and one. You'll find that when you go up, try and keep the weight on the ball of the foot, but you will notice more little toe integration. Here we go. And squat, hold it there. Up, hold it there. Toes, hold it there. Back down, hold it there. That's one. Back and up. And toes and down. That's two. Back and middle. And toes and down. That's three. Back and middle. And toes and down. That's four. Back. Middle, keep that balance. Toes and down, last one. Back and middle and toes and down. Good job. Just step to two and two. Just rock it out, lift those feet slightly just to loosen the feet. You'll feel that those feet will have um, a little bit of tiredness in them because you just had that, all that pressure of doing squats and going up on the toes. So it challenges the foot. What I want you to do is, look, when I lift my foot, I'm gonna push my toe. As I lift, I'm gonna push my toe backwards. Push my toe backwards. But nice and relaxed, just let that foot drop and then bring it back down again. Good, we're just loosening up those feet. Good, what I want you to do, come back. This is the last one before water break. We're going one minute now on a run. Now, don't do the run if you don't feel great doing it. If you wanna go slower, get your own pace. Are you ready? Here we go. <coughs> I got a frog in my throat. I don't know how it got in there, but I'm gonna get it out. Good. And again, go at the speed that you wanna go at. Anything you wanna go. If you wanna go a little faster, go a little faster. If you wanna go a little slower, go slower. We got 40 seconds to go. Good job. got a workout today ladies and gentlemen again like I said we want to continue to have such a variance in workouts that we can help everybody get these workouts that they want and again go at your own level don't go at um, don't do more than the top of your comfort zone we want to hit that top of the comfort zone we don't want to be in a position where we are uh, stepping over two one, and just walk it out nice and easy. Small little leg lift. Take your feet to two and two, then one and one. So we're just working them out. Again, loosening up those legs after a one minute run. Awesome. There you go. Oh, doing great. Good, and just stay at two and two and rock side to side. Good, we're gonna get a drink of water and then we're gonna turn the board around and work on the red ball. Are you ready? So grab your water really quick. I'm going to say hi to everybody that's here. Going back in here. Uh, oh, there's a lot of you that joined in after there. Angie, great to see you. Pat, welcome. It says Pat's watching. I know Pat's working. Uh, Vicky, have a great day. I'll see you at the workout later. I won't see you, but I'll see you if you know what I mean. Um, hey, Pat. Kirk, you're here. Good morning, Kirk. Great to see you. Always miss you, mate. Amy, lovely to see you here. Thanks so much. Mary, uh, great to see you here. Larry, Merry Christmas to you. As we say in England, happy Christmas, uh, but it has the same feeling. Ildi, good morning. Great to see you. Um, always love your energy. Gilbert, thanks so much for being here and watching through here and hopefully joining in. Uh, Ricky, I think it's Ricky. Um, again, because of the second name, it could be more European. Um, it looks like a Scandinavian name, actually, but I could be 100% wrong. I was once. Uh, Joanne, great to see you here. Thanks so much. Cindy, great to see you here. And Beth, great to see you here, too. Okay, let's get on with the workout. Okay, <clears throat> take the board. 
turn it around so it faces the other way. Make sure it's on my mat. Good, all we're gonna do here, and I'll give you a couple of seconds to get the, um, the board around. Take your right foot on the ball and just roll it around sideways. Make sure your toe is in line with the front of the ball. If I go sideways, you'll see here, I'm not putting the middle of my foot in there, it's the ball of the foot that's in the middle and just roll it around, let's loosen that foot up. There you go, good. And change feet, my left foot goes ball of the foot, put a little weight on it, not too much, and think of rolling the knee around. Make a circle with the knee and the foot will follow. So big toe, little toe, and working those toes going across and as much as we feel it in the toes your ankle is doing a lot of the work as well or at least suppling up and having that mobility added to it let's change feet right foot goes in here and roll it around there you go just rolling it around good and change it up here we go and just rolling that foot around just a couple more, again, loosening up. Good, and get back. Now, all we're gonna do here, I just want you to put your right foot, keep your back foot on the ground, and just put some of your body weight. Let's change feet, left foot. Put your left foot on, keep your back foot on the ground, but put your weight on that front leg. Let's change feet. Step, and up. you'll notice my back foot, or maybe you won't notice because of the angle, but I am taking my heel off of the ground on my back foot, so I can put my weight on. Here we go, right again. Change, put your weight, but my foot is still on the ground, but my heel is off the ground. I'll do it sideways so you can see. I'm here, you'll see how my foot comes up, but I've still got some stability. One more time each side. That back foot still gives me stability. I wanna try and keep that board centered, put my weight, and last one. Here we go. You step into there. And we got now. We're gonna jump straight into this one, shake those legs out a little bit. We're gonna go up on the red ball and we're gonna hold for six seconds at a time, trying to keep the ball stable, but up on your toe, not flat foot, try and push up on that toe, are you ready? If you can't and your heels drop, just still find that balance and try and go. So we go up, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and down. Left foot, step. Up, find the balance, hold, four, five, six, and down, right foot. Now, if you're having a hard time with this one, go back to the exercise before, I gotta get my balance in here, go back to the exercise before where your foot stays on the ground a little bit, but try and put more pressure on the, on the uh, ball, or you can step up here, Take your foot and you can actually put it slightly in here so you feel a little bit, if you felt off balance, you could step. Just don't let your body go all the way ahead of the poles. And let's come back down. Right foot up, go up on that toe. Hold the balance. Four, five, six. Back down. Step up. Three, four, five, six. Back down. Last time each side. Step. Up, hold, four, hold, keep the balance, and step down, last one, step, up, hold, 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 and down. Now you should feel a little bit of uh, tightness in those calves, so push your board to the right, you'll see where the board curves around, put your foot, the ball of your foot where the number two is, and just push that heel to the ground and you'll feel again that stretch in the calf. We wanna make sure when we've worked that we also loosen the muscle up as well. Come back in, push the ball to the left, put your foot, the ball of your foot where the number two is on the edge and then let your heel touch the ground. So the ball of the foot is on the edge of the board and your foot now has gone to this position, this being the heel, this being the ball of the foot. Good, feel that stretch. One more time, going to the side, step on two, heel goes to the ground, push it forward, there you go, feeling strong. Now, Bob Eubanks wasn't able to be here today. Um, he called me at 8.48, Take, push the board to the left. I know he said to say hi to everybody here. He misses being in class and he'll be back on Tuesday as strong as ever. 
but wanted to just make sure that he said hi to everybody and uh, he really enjoys being part of this group, which is no surprise because you're all amazing. They are good. Now, what I want you to do, pick up the board and the easiest way to do it is grab a little lower on the handles and you'll notice in here, my feet are either side the center here and then just a quick little shuffle turning it around and then place it back down again. That is the easiest way. It's much harder to start from the back because you've got to lean forward. It's always best to walk around to the front, grab the poles and lift it up and turn it that way. And if you put your hands lower and bend, when you stand up, you don't have to lift your arms up so much. You have to be lifting it up here, just a little bend, <coughs> bend and holding it lower. It's easier to come up. Okay, now what I want you to do is grab your short bands. I'm gonna use the green ones today. And what you're gonna do, remember to put these on, put one safely in here. And we're gonna put them on the side today, not on the front, short bands on the side. Now we talked about if you have a hard time bending down, you can push the board up, grab the edge, and put the board against your thighs. Now all I'm gonna do is thread this through the side, take the handle, put it through the center in here, and then I can let the board down and put the handle on here, and now we're in a good position. I'm gonna do the other side, I'm gonna do it the old way, where I'm just gonna lean over, put the band through the side, weave it through, and we're in a good position here. So the exercise we're gonna be doing today is gonna to be a little bit different than we normally do, um, because obviously we're putting them on the outside and we're gonna leave the poles in here today. What I want you to do is turn sideways, face your left. Step up, put the middle of your foot on the uh, right foot on the middle line, grab hold of the front pole, step up. Now from here, take your left foot back and push back, take your right foot forward. And all we're gonna do is just rock forward and backwards. We haven't done, spent a lot of time working on the forward and backward motion. Now for some of you that have said you find this a little bit unstable or a little unsafe when you first start, that's not unusual. But the big thing here is don't lean back to rock the board. Bend both legs and push on the back leg and keep your body centered at all times. So I'm just pushing in here. There you go, good. Now, find your balance. You'll notice your heel is off, your back foot is off, the heel a little bit. So you can push and adjust very lightly until you find that center. Good, and rock forward and backwards. This is such a simple exercise, and you'll notice that when you're doing this, how um, much the back foot is actually working. This is great exercise as well for strengthening the back foot to be able to push back and control your weight, not push back and fall. Okay, one more time, find your balance. Keep those eyes up, let your brain feel and adjust. Good, and rock forward and backwards. Now what I want you to do is bring, push back on your left foot, take your right foot to, uh, next to your left foot, put your left foot forward, and let's rock forward and backwards. There you go, nice and easy. Just feeling the change now. Now we're working the back leg, the right leg, to not let our body go backwards, but to control our weight and be able to push. There you go, good. So where, whatever motion our body's in, we're able to be able to um, control our body weight and that gives us stability. Good, and find your balance. Listen to that peace and quiet. It's a beautiful day here, good. Push back and rock again. It's a beautiful day here in Southern California. It's a little overcast when I woke up early this morning and uh, got outside, but even then it was only 48 degrees at you know 5.30 in the morning, which was a really warm morning compared to normal, and compared to the East Coast, it's really warm. It's gotta be probably in the high 50s now. Okay, come and find your balance. Good, hold that, try and find that center, and as you begin to lose it, adjust quickly if you begin to rock one way, soft, light pressure, just to bring it back. They are good. Now, what I want you to do here is bring your uh, left foot back to your right. 
And what we're going to do here, <coughs> the next exercise is going to be a bicep curl. Now, what I want you to do is take your right foot and put it next to the number one. So your toe is right in front of the red marker. And what I want you to do is take your left foot and put it so the toe is right behind the other red marker at the back. So if you notice, there's a center red marker, which is the toe mark for my right foot. And the, the um, what's it called? The, the sideways marker, my toe is right behind that. Now push forward on that foot and come across with your left hand and grab the band. Now what I want you to do is try and find your balance. And we're gonna do bicep curls, right hand on, Left hand on the band. Are you ready? Here we go. We're going to do eight of these. And go. One. And two. And three. And four. Try and keep that balance. Five. Six. My right heel is very slightly off. Seven. Keep those eyes up. Eight. Good. Push down on the, on the left foot and put the band. Now. Bring your uh, push back on the foot. Bring your left foot to the next uh, next to your right foot and step off of the side. We're going to go the other side. So turn around. So on this one, very simple. Take your left foot and put it just behind the center marker. So your toe is right behind the center marker. Step up on the board. Now take your right foot and put your toe right behind that center marker. There, good. Just rock a couple of times to feel where your feet are. Now push back on the left foot. Grab hold of the band in here. Push forward, find that balance. I'm gonna keep my eyes up, I'm gonna to look to the side. And here we go. Eight bicep curls. One, and two, and three. Keep that balance. Four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good, push back on the left foot. Put the band across, bring the right foot back, step off of the side. Now we're gonna do another exercise in here, which again is gonna be a little bit different. Are you ready? Turn, face the left. What I want you to do is take your right foot, push it, uh, actually take your right foot, put it again in the same position behind the red. Take the left foot and put it in the same position. But now what I want you to do is we're gonna rock. And we're gonna rock forward and as you push back, pull the band back behind you. I'm going to turn around so you can see what's happening with the arm, but stay where you were. I would be in this position. Let me just show you here. And all I'm doing, I'm pulling my arm back. So we're going across into this motion. All right. Stay where you are. I'm coming back to join you. There you go. Good. So we're here. Now, when you push back, pull back. Push forward and pull. That's two. Forward and three. Forward and four, forward and five, forward and six, forward and seven, forward and eight, and that's good. Stay on the back foot, push it across here. Let's step off of the board. Now let's turn to the other side. Same thing, left foot right behind the center marker, the toe. You should look down and be able to see the center marker. Take the right foot and put it right behind the red mark, which is going across the board. Grab hold of the band. Remember, we're doing a pull back, almost like a soaring action, uh, as in soaring a saw, as in cutting wood, because the English accent, people are like, soaring, what is that? There's no R in soaring, Bob Eubanks always says that. Okay, here we go. Push forward, now push back and pull. One, and don't lean back, push with the legs. Two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good, stay on the back foot, bring the hand around, put it on the hook. One thing you could do here is turn the hook slightly to the side. I'm not gonna do that, but again, you could always turn the hook if you wanted to the side. And let's step back off. Okay, last exercise we're gonna be doing here now with the bands on the side, put your feet on two and two. Now grab hold of the left band. So hold on with the right handle. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna push to the right. And as we push to the right, we're gonna lift the arm. Now you say, well, why wouldn't we go into a balance? What I wanna do is multitask the brain to do opposite. So I push on the right, I lift on the left. Push on the left, relax on the left. 
Are you ready? We've got eight of these on the left. And push. Up. That's one. And up. That's two. And three. Down. Four. Stay strong on the feet. Five. And six. And seven. Last one. Eight. Good. Push on the left. Put it down. Now, grab the right hand side. Push on the right. And here we go. Push on the left foot and lift with the right. We're doing opposites. And the brain is able to control and figure out what's happening. Are you ready? And push. Go one. And down. And two. And down and three, and down, and four, and down. Last four of the day, five, and six. Good, you're doing fantastic, come on, seven. Finish it strong, and eight. Good, put the band back. All I want to do is just rock nice and easy side to side. We're almost done for the day. Like I said, shorter, quicker workout, but again, feeding that dynamics of movement and trying to keep the heart rate a little higher, as well as testing our balance at all times while we're working. Good. What I want you to do, push down with the left, step back off with the right. Now, we just work shoulders. What I want you to do is stand. If you want to hold onto the poles because you feel stable, that's fine. Just do one hand. But what I want you to do is cross your arms over and out. And when you cross them over, don't do it low. Almost bring it at like a 45 degree angle here where you're not hitting the poles but we're just in here and what we'll feel is when you take them across we're stretching the shoulder that we just worked there you go good now put them down by the side just roll those shoulders out again you know me flexibility suppleness is huge in growing strength and freedom of movement and just take them forward there you go good <clears throat> very good Good, and rest them down. Just a little stretch to the side, small, little stretch to the side. Remember, when you stretch, think of lifting up and over. Don't think of crunching down. Think of up and over. Good, lift your weight up and over. And again, you wanna stretch here, but you wanna feel lifted on this side too, not collapsed. And again, switch. We got two more. One, two, and. One, two. Good. What I want you to do now, hold on to the board, push the foot to the, I mean, board to the side. Let's give another calf stretch. Ball of the foot is on the edge of the board. The heel is on the ground. And just a very slight stretch forward. Again, stretching the Achilles by bending the knee just a little bit. And then straighten that front leg and feel the stretch up higher up the calf. Change legs. Step in here, push the heel to the ground. You're there. Oh, God, it feels so good. Bend the knee a little bit. Feel the stretch in the Achilles more. Straighten the leg. And then come and step back down. Right foot again. Step. Feel that stretch. And again, this is a great stretch to do during the day. I know people will say sometimes their legs start to cramp or their uh, calves start to cramp at certain times. This is a great exercise to stretch the muscles out to be able to... Um, again, keep the flow, keep the blood going through, stop that calf from cramping, but we also know if you're cramping, you could be dehydrated. Okay, shake those legs out. Last two stretches of the day. Take your right, push the board to the right, sorry. Put your right heel on the board. If you want to, you can put your foot, your toe against the pole, bend the back leg and just stretch forward slightly. Again, if you have dropped foot or you have a little bit of... Uh, need of assistance to keep that toe up. Don't be scared to put that foot against the board. I'll show you on the left-hand side. Let's change sides. So if you have a problem with drop foot, put your foot against the pole, just try and lift your leg up and let your heel come under and then you can keep that toe up and bend forward. Back leg's bent very slightly. We've got that stretch down here. There you go, good. Oh, let's change one more side to the side. Again, you don't have to use the pole, but if you want to, drop foot, push your foot against there, lift the leg, and just push that heel under and get that little bit of stretch. Brilliant, we're so close to being done and you've done a great job today. Preparing for Debbie's class tomorrow. Left side, step in here. 
lift the toes slightly, push the heel under, and just feel that stretch. Gosh. Oh, I love that stretch. Isn't it funny how you can have something that hurts, but it feels so good as well? Ah, oh, there you go, good. And the last ones we're gonna do is just the heel kickers. Now on Tuesday, I'm gonna be doing an exercise. It's only two days before, or three days before Christmas. I'm gonna do an exercise which I'm gonna create, which I got asked to create actually by my father. Um, how do you bend down and pick something up off of the ground? How do you develop the strength to have the balance to bend down just with one hand and pick something up? You've dropped something in the street, you've dropped a coin in the street, you've dropped something in the kitchen, a knife's gone on the ground. So I'm gonna go away this weekend and develop some exercises, keep stretching the front of the quads. I'm gonna develop some exercise we can do on the board to strengthen the legs and balance to be able to bend down. And um, I know I'll come up with something good because I wanna help. Good, shake those legs out. There you go, and grab your water. As you can see, a slightly shorter workout. Um, um, so a shorter workout, but getting on it, get that work done and go through the whole body. Just going back into here, saying hi to people. Uh, Bob, good morning, Bob Schrader. Good to see you here. Uh, thanks so much. And there's uh, Jill from Chicago. Uh, great to see you, Jill. I don't know if you were here at the earlier, but I hope you got a workout. If not, this will be on later. Um, it's gonna be uploaded onto Facebook Live. Uh, or Facebook, sorry, our, our page. This is Facebook Live. And it will also be on YouTube later. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, that is one of... Lynn, great to see you, Lynn. Thanks so much for being here um, and appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Um, and if you didn't get to do it all, go back and do it later on, but thanks. Now, this is such a pretty name, Jonah Quinn. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Give me, uh, tell me down there whether it's uh, Jonah Queen, Jonah Quinn, um, or how I'm saying it wrong, but I love, what a great name. Thanks so much. Rosa, it's always beautiful to see you here. Thanks so much. Um, hope you had a good workout today and uh, look forward to seeing you soon again. Um, Amy, you had to stop, suddenly felt really sleepy, very weird, must be oxygen flow problem. A couple of things that I'd say in there. Um, and first off, congratulations on stopping. Don't push through. Um, certainly feeling sleepy can be an oxygen um, deprivation. Uh, it could also be tiredness. I don't know, um, you know where you work out from, um, how you slept last night, but certainly, a lack of oxygen can be, but also water. Because remember, um, hydration keeps the blood uh, not as thick, and so it can flow quicker through and bring that oxygen. So take a look at those two. Um, and if not, you can go and watch a, a movie that I starred in many years ago that will help send you to sleep and you'll get more sleep. I shot a movie called Shark Attack 2. Shark Attack number two is always on on Shark Week where I played one of the lead characters in the movie. And it's great for falling asleep too. Uh, unless you don't like sharks and you get scared. By the way, I watched um, Jaws last night. I watched Jaws backwards. And it was such a beautiful, caring story about a shark who kept giving limbs back to people that had lost them. If you watch Jaws backwards, it's such a kind, caring movie. I mean, who would have thought a shark would be so caring as to give limbs back? But you've got to watch it backwards. Um, but I hope you feel better, Amy, and get some rest. And again, don't forget, hydrate as well. But congratulations on stopping. You've got to know and, and adjust your safety. Autumn, great to see you here, Autumn. Uh, you always bring the most beautiful leaves with you. Uh, Deborah, thanks so much. Uh, great workout. Betsy, Autumn, thank you so much for being here. Um, and, and always appreciate seeing everybody here. Pat, your balance was a little off today, but the workout was great. I don't know if you noticed, my balance was off a little bit today. Um, especially when we were doing the squats and going up on the toes on the squats, I was having a harder time than normal. Maybe it's just the time of year or the change in the weather, or um, you could have something else on your mind and, and not given the freedom of your body to feel you're overthinking it. But the great thing is you did it, got through it, and that was fantastic. Uh, Ildi, great workout. You, um, thank you so much for being here and have a fantastic day. Um, uh, Chad, great workout. You'll look forward to picking things up. Um, yeah, again, there's my own father that reached out and said, Dan, he's having a hard time 
bending down and picking something up off of the ground, um, you know, could you, you know, how would I use the ball for that? I said, yeah, well, I'll come up with something on Tuesday. So if he's having problems with it, I know other people are. And even something bending down and picking your socks up off of the ground is really tough. Now, I have a problem with bending down, picking socks off of the ground. Uh, that's not because I can't bend down. That's why I've got so many socks lying everywhere. Um, but I'm actually doing it as an experimentation because I want to see whether socks just get lost in the washer and dryer or whether they actually get lost if you leave them on the ground. So um, I'm not lazy, honestly. My room is really clean, I promise you. It's just socks that I leave down. Um, but that's just, okay, I'm just not doing it. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you, the cycling picture. Uh, I used to love racing. I, I was fortunate enough to race for a number of years and went through so much pain. Um, and that's why I say to people, going through the pain in the training makes race day great. And that's why going through the discipline of doing the work on the 60 up will make it better when you go outside, go through the training. And when I used to race the Ironman, I always found that the, the training was harder than race day if I trained right. Because when I got to race day, you got the adrenaline, you've got all the training, you've gone through your um, taper where you haven't trained for the last week before as hard. Your body's raring to go, you've got people cheering you on. And I love doing all that, but the training was the difference. It was never race day. And it's the same, do the training now and the rest of the world will be able to celebrate as you get out and take control. Um, Kirk, the shorter time was great. Believe me, I feel <laughs> it was... Uh, Good. And I think the reason it went longer and longer is because I had so much I wanted to share and so much that I wanted to teach now to start raining myself. I could, I could teach, do a two hour class, no problems whatsoever. But again, coming it back, uh, bringing it back and uh, bringing what's best for you always as well. So thanks so much. Um, and Denise, thank you so much. Uh, Got to do more stretching. Yeah, your balance was off today. My balance was off today. Who knows why? I, I woke up, I actually woke up this morning to go out and train and my cell phone had run out. I always have the, the, you know, my alarm on there and I woke up at 5.30 and normally I wake up at 5 and I thought, oh, the alarm hasn't gone off. That's great. I can just go back to sleep and I'm lying there going, I wonder what time it is. So I put my computer on and sure enough, didn't realize my battery had gone dead on my phone and it was already 5.31. So I had to get up and get going. So maybe I didn't... Uh, I didn't get as refreshed. I wasn't awake. I was go, go, go and not having the time to center. Uh, one thing I'll give you a little tip. Um, I normally stretch in bed when I first wake up before getting out of bed. So I'll do toe pushes. For those of you that have drop foot or have neuropathy, even just when you first wake up, lay on your back, move those toes, get your toes. Even if they're not moving, think about it. Slowly get them going. And then uh, take the foot and just move the ankle up and down. I do these almost every day, especially if I'm going to go out and train hard. And then what I'll do is I'll put my knee and I'll pull my knee up while I'm lying on my back and see if I can pull that knee up and put it there. Now I know with neuropathy, rubbing against the, um, the uh, sheets can be a little painful. So get a pillow, take a pillow and push it down onto there. Um, so it raises the cushion, I mean, the covers up, you can fold it over so you can do those exercises. And then often I'll roll onto my front and bring my knee up or do knees and go back and just stretch, loosen the hips up. I found the bed, one of the best places to do stretches because you can relax while you're doing it and loosen up before you even get out of bed and step onto the floor, get those muscles working, get the messaging going, get the blood flowing. Um, and I, when I say I do it, it's only for two minutes. And that lot. But again, try it. See, I'd love to find out from you whether you find a little difference waking up and doing that. Today I didn't. I had to jump out of bed and get going straight away. And maybe that's why my balance was off a little bit. Anyway, uh, Elsie. Hi, group. Hi, Elsie. We're done. We're out of here, Elsie. But thanks for showing up because I don't, I don't mind whether you're here for one second, whether you're here for one hour, or whether you're thinking about being here. But that energy and keeping the group together is critical. It's uh, critical because it's so positive that just having that energy flow, and I believe, inspires everybody with their own energy as well. Anyway, have a great class with Debbie tomorrow. Thanks so much for being here. Love to you all. Stay safe. Stay smart. Get on the 60 up later on today. Rock for 15 minutes, 20 minutes watching your, watching your TV. And I will see you next Tuesday. Love to you all. Bye-bye. Oh, Elsie, don't forget to breathe during exercise. Absolutely. That's a great point. I remember Bob used to hold his breath all the time. I'd say, Bob, breathe, breathe. Um, and people think it's just natural. Often when we're working, 
we don't breathe. And so that's a great point. Thanks for bringing that up, Elsie. See, even if you just got here or you weren't here the whole time, that little tip can change. Um, that little uh, tip can change the effect of working out, especially Amy with losing, uh, you know, feeling a little bit tired. Keep breathing. Elsie, have a beautiful weekend. I will see you Tuesday. And a great picture as well. I can just see the picture that you have on there. Don't forget to hit return. Keep coming back.